Finland and Russia have uh, both voiced concern over the scale of the military operation in Ukraine and the humanitarian disaster it's created. The statement was made jointly in Sochi, where the visiting Finnish leader met Vladimir Putin. Let's now cross to Artie Zagor Biskunov, who's following the meeting for us. Well, hello there, Igor. So the presidents, as we know, have already met. What more can you tell us? Well, both presidents said that they are extremely concerned about the ongoing violence in southeastern Ukraine, calling it a humanitarian catastrophe, which must be resolved immediately. The Finnish leader also uh, supported the humanitarian operation currently being conducted by Moscow. It's sending humanitarian aid to eastern Ukraine, saying that uh, these types of steps help to rebuild trust, uh, which is vital to help de-escalate the tensions in uh, the region. Also, of course, both leaders discussed uh, trade ties between Russia and Finland, which recently have gone down by 8 percent. The Finnish president and I discussed the negative impact of sanctions and came to the conclusion that the measures are harmful to trade and business development in our countries and as a result to the world economy. This is President Putin's first meeting with any EU leader since the European Union introduced the latest set of sanctions targeting whole sectors of the Russian economy and since Moscow introduced the ban on a wide range of products imported from uh, the EU and it has caused quite a strong effect on uh, European producers. Uh, take a look at this graphic that we've prepared for you. Uh, the, because of these limitations uh, which have been imposed on all countries which have been taking part in anti-Russian sanctions, the European Union alone is expected to lose up to seven billion dollars. Uh, more specifically, the worst hit member states are the Netherlands, which could lose up to two billion dollars, Lithuania, 1.2 billion, Poland, around one billion dollars, and Germany, around 795 million dollars. Many European farmers are now asking EU officials for compensation, but the problem is the European Union's emergency fund, which is designated for uh, these purposes, is only around 400 million euros, which is obviously not enough. I don't know what we're going to do if this continues. The crops in our region are threatened. I have people who work for me. On Monday morning, I told them to stay home. I don't know what I'm going to do. The peaches in Sliven are getting bad. The situation is so difficult. This production is a major loss, and we can't make up for it. And we won't receive compensation from the Bulgarian government or from the European Union. For our business, the ban on imports to Russia will mean a collapse, for sure. We have to stop our production as revenues will not be enough to cover the costs of things like logistics. Now, if the meeting between the Russian and the Finnish president seems to have taken place uh, in a friendly atmosphere, in a constructive atmosphere, the same perhaps can be said about the emergency meeting of EU foreign ministers yeah, in Brussels. We've heard more yeah. accusations coming from them, uh, accusing Moscow of escalating the tensions uh, in uh, that region, uh, well, the region where it borders with Ukraine, escalating the whole conflict. In, in, in fact, uh, more accusations specifically for, uh, from the foreign ministers of uh, Sweden and uh, Lithuania. They said that they have reports of uh, Russian military hardware crossing the border uh, to Ukraine overnight. Uh, but uh, these are some quite strong accusations which haven't been backed by any concrete evidence, only rumors and reports from unnamed journalists. So it's very unlikely that these types of uh, statements will help decrease the tensions between Russia and the European Union. Right, Igor, thanks for following this meeting for us. Igor Piskunov reporting there.